Hello, uh, this is poster number 13, and I'm presenting it on behalf of my PhD student, Jesus Ramos Medina. And uh, so here we present uh, uh, an analysis of uh, optical loss in the spectroscopy uh, done with HST and CIS of M192. And, and in this object, here we focus on the analysis of the H alpha profile. Uh, already from ground based observations, it was known that the, the H alpha profile had a remarkable, very prominent PC profile with broad wings and then a social the blue shift uh, feathers. So here we are able to spatially resolve the different spectral components along the different along the, the axis of the nebula. And um, what we find in particular is that we are able to resolve the spatial structure of the absorption of the PC profile. Okay? And our interpretation of, of in general how the, the profile was formed is that although the H alpha emission is observed extended along the lobes, it's not locally produced there. Is uh, scattered in each alpha emission that is produced. Okay, it's produced in the inner core that is reflected in the dusty lobes of the nebula, and the absorption is produced by gas inside of the lobes. And this is the gas that is filling the lobes that is answering maybe Bruce Valley, one of Bruce Valley's questions: what is inside of the of the lobes? Very close to the central south of this light, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Um, and in this board is shown uh, one way to well determine the, the several uh, stellar parameters, um, uh, in particular about where the project starts. Uh, uh, using as uh, an additional consideration the nebula associated with this kind of star, where the, the, the uh, we describe uh, the spectral observations of our based this analysis. Uh, we present uh, the mean results about the star atmosphere uh, reproduction uh, using the CMDG code, uh, John C. Arts code, and the Pinet formalist uh, uh, for the nebula. Uh, the results uh, uh, finally are discussed. Uh, Mainly the, the stellar uh, parameters as mass loss uh, values, uh, effective temperatures, and, and the chemical abundance um, we contribute about the another world as uh, stellar evolution and dynamical stars. <laughs> So 
Well, it was the first release of the IFAS catalog of external planetary nebulae. So those are 126 new planetary nebulae from making low in the plane, so they are generally extremely faint. We are going from the galactic center to the galactic empty center. All the morphological classes are represented. We found a lot of wrong planetary nebulae. Yeah. All the, we can double the number of planetary nebulae in that band. All the results will be in the catalog, the online catalog presented by Quantum Parker. So if you're interested, get in touch with us for start and for you. So in this poster, we present the mid infrared imaging of the bipolar, maybe not kind of nebula, but bipolar nebula and U-9 mimic. Possibly from 6 to 27 microns. This is taken with Sophia, the forecast instrument. The main results of this work are the spatial and size distribution of the dust grains in this nebula. What we find is that in the lobes, the dust is fairly uniformly distributed inside, but it, the dust density is enhanced in the walls of the lobes. Uh, the size distribution is quite important and interesting. In the central source, there's a point source at the center, which has been modeled earlier, has been modified here to find both small and large grains, but they are oxygen rich grains. In the nebula, we require that the grains have to be, again, uh, one component of the grains has to be small but carbon rich based on the temperature distribution with radius. And the other uh, result uh, published earlier has to do with the fact that there's a presence of millimeter sized grains as well in the lobes. So, in fact, there are both large and small grains population in the lobes, uh, with, uh, which are uh, of different sizes, and that may point towards a, uh, a disk wind which has been talked about. Hi, a good important discovery of new features in some planetary nebula from Wavy Wise Space Telescope. The main findings are a big faint halo in NGC 7354, the interior halo filled by filamentary structures in the ring nebula, and a kind of cometary like structure seen in the W format, probably related to the main nebula of NGC 5189. Hi, uh, we present shape mall, uh, proving for, for shape, for doing more for kinematical modeling uh, in, with relative transfer of molecular species, and namely CO for now, several rotational transitions. And it, well, it's very quick, very easy to use, very flexible, uh, very easy to learn. Uh, the poster is right uh, in that corner, a little bit hidden. Uh, we did a demonstration a uh, couple of days ago, so if time travel is ever developed, come join us. The other one? Uh, we present uh, a preliminary analysis of a sample of uh, protoplanetary and young planetary nebulae uh, observed with uh, Haifa in one of Herschel, uh, sampling uh, three different transitions of neutral and simply ionized carbon, sampling different regions of the nebula. And, uh, well, this uh, the analysis, not only high resolution uh, profiles, not only allow us to study the, the kinematics uh, in detail, but also to derive the uh, masses uh, of uh, their corresponding regions, uh, allowing us to establish uh, some interesting trends such as uh, one confirming that the uh, neutral carbon is located in a thin shell in the photo uh, dissociation region, or that the larger the molecular mass of the molecular envelope, uh, the larger also the fraction of, of carbon locked up in, in molecules. Or, in other words, that the uh, shielding against the UV focus from the star is more effective. In the future, we will incorporate also oxygen one transition. Thanks. In this poster we present uh, the new version of shape, the new features that we have in addition to shape wall, for which you have heard a lot by now. Uh, these include of course the hydrodynamics module and uh, some field module where you can use and visualize 
magnetic and uh, gravitational fields, as well as uh, capabilities for making more precise volumetric representation of complex images. Something that I would like to mention that I forgot to mention in our presentation was that now, instead of having made a manual, a written manual, we are doing video tutorials. We have uh, set up a, uh, a channel, a, what's it called? A YouTube channel and a link, links in our own website to all uh, the videos. Thank you very much This poster discusses a uh, new population of up to 300 new band candidates. These candidates were discovered through a careful review of bulge imaging data taken with the Mosaic 2 camera on the CPO's 4 meter one meter telescope. This imaging data, taken using a narrowband O3 emission one filter and band filter, was taken to determine accurate O3 fluxes for known bulge PM, uh, but it's proving to be a bulk mine of new bulge PM candidates. Some of the candidates exhibit large parameter diameters consistent with line of sources towards the bulge rather than those of true bulge PM. Hence, we now use the term towards the bulge until distance estimations are complete. Thank you. The next poster discusses a technique for efficient inspection of high volume imaging data for planetary nebulae. Large fixed files such as those generated through Mosaic CCD imaging systems are segmented into smaller subscreen sized images. Interleaving of those frames, for example, interleaving say, RGB on band off band images with their difference imaging is demonstrated. And an image viewer that supports single click image reversal can then be used for efficient data inspection and complementary image linking. I've provided here the algorithmic approach and some specific code snippets so that you can incorporate this technique into your own work. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Hege Plot from uh, the Potsdam Group. In the Potsdam Group, we model stellar spectra, I mean stellar atmospheres, especially hot stars with winds, so uh, roof ray stars, low stars, also central stars, especially of uh, roof ray type. And um, this set of our power code, you already had a bit of it uh, by the Rindel. Uh, this uh, work is a um, result of a uh, collaboration with some people from the AIP, Matthias Stett and Svetlana Ruprich. And there we tried to uh, uh, detect magnetic fields in central stars and uh, we did um, a hard job on uh, estimating the error margins uh, back away AFG by help of um, stellar synthetic spectra.
poster B32.